Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 28th, 2020. Well, happy Friday, everyone. We've made it through the week. Well, almost made it through the week. We still have another day of a busy um, economic calendar and um, a Jackson Hole Symposium that continues. Yesterday, we heard from Jerome Powell that the Federal Reserve is going to relax um, its stance on inflation and, um, and will allow... Um, interest rates to remain low for a long period of time in an effort to um, get inflation to move above 2%. Um, the market seemed to endorse that yesterday with a nice bullish move, and that's not a big surprise. We kind of talked about that yesterday. So um, a nice bullish move yesterday, although there was some turmoil under the surface. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning when we look at our index charts, we see all kinds of bullishness on the daily charts. Very, very bullish. Um, Dow pushing up again yesterday, showing lots of strength, um, holding above support levels, just showing all kinds of bullishness, um, bullish trend in play. And as a matter of fact, we could draw a trend up through here as well, holding up very, very strong in the market. We still obviously have resistance above that we have to deal with in the chart that we'll need to be paying attention to. So keep a close eye on that as we continue to try and hang around in here, um, pushing some resistance levels in the chart and um, those all-time highs still possible in the Dow. Um, let's take a look at our moving averages and technicals here. Um, nothing in here that doesn't suggest bullishness. Everything is still pushing higher here in the market. However, when we look at yesterday's intraday chart, and I'm going to go to a 15 minute, there was a bit of a turmoil going on here where we um, gapped up, rallied up on the Dow or on the Fed news, and then suddenly we saw an attack by the bears, came back and filled that gap, or almost filled the gap. The bulls stepped in to defend and rallied us back up, but not exactly a warm and fuzzy, particularly when we take a look at what happened in the VIX yesterday um, in during that same period of time. The VIX rallied sharply. This is a 15 minute chart. And you can see we had a little concern. It's remarkable that we're making new record highs in the market. S&P 500 clipped that new record high. And yet we saw the VIX at one point spike above 26, closing the day at 24 and a half. Mm, a little bit of turmoil there and a little bit of uncertainty. So let's kind of keep that in mind. Um, as we move forward and slide into this weekend. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY managed to push on up, closing at a new record high, and we are still showing a very strong bullish run in the chart. We are now up seven straight days in a row in the SPY, which would suggest a rest or pullback could happen at any time. And possibly that's what that little intraday bobble was all about, that we may be building a little bit of energy here for some profit taking to come into the market. But we remain very, very bullish in this chart. Any rest or pullback into here it doesn't change anything um, in the chart. As a matter of fact, I think it would actually um, improve the strength of the market and be healthy for the market for a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback. Not saying that's what we're going to get today, but we should be watchful for the possibility of profit taking with that little intraday um, struggle that we had yesterday. Let's wa take a look at the cues. Now, the cues struggled a little bit more yesterday, um, managed to close positive on the day, but seemed to have a little bit more pressure in there on the sell side. Now, overall, 
on the daily chart we are very very bullish in the nasdaq and there's no reason to believe here just yet that we're ready to fall as a matter of fact this could be nothing more than a consolidation to um, slide us over to the trend. It could also result in a bit of a pullback, but we have support levels in this chart um, that could easily hold this up. So maybe a little bit of rest coming. This has been an amazing run. We're a bit stretched out here in the NASDAQ. And so we wanna be watchful of this little bubble that we had yesterday and just kind of note that um, this morning, NASDAQ is not uh, pushing up through highs like we're seeing in the Dow futures and the SPY futures this morning. NASDAQ is staying just a little bit flat here this morning. So a little bit more pressure maybe coming in, just showing that we're a little bit stretched out, a little rest may be needed here in the market. And then IWM, IWM finally perked up a little bit here yesterday, but it is still struggling with resistance levels in the chart significantly. And what happened yesterday to kind of help inspire it a little bit higher, we finally saw some of the financial markets trying to pick up just a little bit and a little teeny tiny pickup in some of the energy sector stocks, but still struggling in here overall. We'll want to watch that close. IWM could be the one to, to be the first. If we get a failure in the market, it could be one of the first to actually break its trend. We're just setting right there on it. Let's watch that close. However, if those bulls can find a reason to be inspired, and there's certainly possibility they could be inspired. We still have the Jackson Hole Symposium going on. Um, markets are kind of hoping to hear that they're going to get some forward guidance from the Fed and that they're going to hear that they are going to continue their aggressive act. Um, asset purchasing program. So if they get that kind of news, we certainly could see this breakthrough in this little wedge pattern, uh, breakthrough and new uh, a new breakout coming here on IWM. So anything is possible here. Let's just kind of keep an eye on it. This is a very news driven market. And if the Fed does um, does what the market wants, we could certainly see us continuing to move higher. Let's take a look at that VIX again real quickly. Now this is, uh, I can continue to mention this as kind of a perplexing thing that we're hitting new record highs in the market, but we can't seem to get fear to diminish. And I mentioned yesterday, and I've mentioned before, that my concern here in the VIX is if we were to get some kind of a spike up Breaking that downtrend, which we really got yesterday, breaking that downtrend. Now the question is going to be, will this hold that downtrend anywhere in here as support and then see follow through fear to the upside? That could really bring in some sellers. And there's some question out there about the possibility of a double dip market that we may find another pullback in this market. It doesn't suggest we're gonna go all the way back down, but that possibility that we may have pushed a little bit too far too fast and the market needs a pullback. So watch that closely. VIX may be signaling that. And then the other place that just is a little bit perplexing as we continue to push up, if we look at T2101, we're still seeing um, absolute market breadth of the market really decline in a tremendous divergence away from the market itself. So what this tells us is Although we're rallying, we're not getting um, support by the majority of stocks. It's a, it's a select few that continues to rally and push the market up. If those start to sell off, the question remains, if we get those big tech giants starting to sell off, can we continue this rally? That's yet to be seen. So watch that carefully and closely. Anything is possible here. Um, when we see, uh, you know, this cavitation in um, market breadth, let's take a look at T twenty one. 22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, the good news on this is it is showing um, that we still have upside opportunity, and we're seeing the Dow futures pushing up this morning, um, looking for about a hundred point gap up. But we're seeing a little bit of softness in the, the NASDAQ itself. So, 
a little bit of back and forth here, but we do have room for this to move to the upside. So let's watch that up here before we reach any kind of a bearish reversal zone. We still have upside potential in the market. So if we can get that news out of Jackson Hole that inspires the market, we certainly have room to go to that upside here on Friday. So watch that close. And remember, this is kind of a historic, um, in a way, um, August. August typically doesn't move like this. And as a matter of fact, this will be, uh, if they can hold this up, and I suspect institutions are going to do everything they can to try and hold this up through the end of the month, this will be the best August since 1986 pretty amazing uh, to see that occurring so watch that closely let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today and we have a pretty busy day on the economic calendar we'll want to pay attention to that this morning as you can see we've got um um a goods trade um information here um that's going to come out right before the market opens here at 8 30 a.m um, eastern time personal incomes and outlays those certainly can move the market around and they're not expected to be all that great in numbers this morning so let's watch that um, we also have Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. We'll want to keep an eye on those numbers. And also keep in mind that we could get lots of news out of this um, Kansas City Fed policy uh, meeting. So keep a close eye on that. Um, news driven items out of Jackson Hole could certainly move us around. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And our earnings calendar, we only have um, uh, 12, 14 companies reporting earnings. And most of those companies are very, very small cap. Um, uh, really not notable uh, companies at all. But I did come up with a couple to show you. Um, Big Big is reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Big Lots, um, a bit notable here this morning, could um, produce um, a report. As you can see, we're up here testing um, these highs. And this has just been a tremendous rally. So we need a pretty decent report out of this to continue this rally to the upside here on big and HIBB, really the only particularly notable companies um, to pay attention to in the earnings uh, calendar today. And as you can see, nice rally in this chart. Um, pushing up here, you can see our bid ask spread right in here indicating an open at least at this point right about where we closed um, so let's keep an eye on that uh, this morning as that report comes out let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that everyone if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be helpful to be useful to you if you could please do me a favor click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate everyone taking the time to do that it means the world to me and hopefully you've seen that these videos i i don't try to predict where the market goes i really look at the technicals the price action of the chart for that which is a little bit a uh, little bit different than what you may see other places that are always trying to predict this that or, or something else if we just look at these charts um, with a technical eye and and um, a lean toward that price action, we can do very well, and it really doesn't require prediction. I've been able to build a career doing this, trading full time for uh, nearly 16 years now, so it does work. So if you find these helpful, please feel free to share these videos as well with um, anyone out there. You can share them with friends and family, share them on Twitter, share them on Facebook. Um, that helps me out a lot as well. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, and remember, in any of these stocks that I show you, there is no recommendation to buy or sell 
any security. This is just part of the education I provide. We'll look at some of the patterns and things setting up and the possible trades. Let's take a look at restoration hardware. Restoration hardware, as you can see, has been moving up in this real steady trend. We've got a few days of resting consolidation in here. We need a little bit of a bullish move. We need a little bit of inspiration, but restoration hardware could pop on out. And let's keep in mind, this is a blue sky high, so there really is no resistance to the upside on this if we can find that inspiration. Let's also keep in mind though, if, if those bears do decide to attack, it could quickly break this upside trend. So we're going to have to stay on our toes on a chart like Restoration Hardware. Let's take a look at Kroger. Kroger, um, kind of a defensive, well, not kind of, it is a defensive sector type company. And notice this has been really volatile, remarkably volatile. Um, all over the place, lots of wicks and tails, lots of whipping around. What's interesting to me right now in this chart is that we seem to be settling just a little bit. Notice we broke up here above this um, resistance level. We're holding it in a nice tight consolidation and we're trying really, really hard to hold a breakout here to all time highs. Well, I guess not quite all time highs. I didn't look back far enough. Um, but trying to break this into this uh, next level above. And right now, as you can see, we've got no sellers really showing up here in that chart. So let's keep an eye on this and watch it close for that possibility that we could start moving on up here and Kroger uh, might be something you want to keep a close eye on. Also take a look at um, Costco. Costco been beautifully strong in this move. Now it's up several days in a row in this really steep rally. Don't be too surprised if we catch a pullback in here, but Costco has been performing extremely well. One of those that's benefited um, pretty handsomely from coronavirus and uh, as people stock up to stay at home and continue to stock up to stay at home uh, costco looking pretty good keep a close eye on that you want to might want to take a look at corning corning continues to show considerable strength um, in the chart as you can see rallying up We've consolidated here for a bit now we're holding this price support in the chart nicely we just need that little bit of a bullish move to push us up and Corning produces all of the Gorilla Glass for all the devices we carry around and certainly those are selling strong so I would guess Corning is going to do quite well um, along those lines. Take a look at FCX. We had gold and silver selling off yesterday but if we notice here in FCX we had a nice little rally here in FCX yesterday pushing up. Now copper um, being having such a heavy industrial use and with the housing um, being such a huge driver of this market right now with rates very very low that really builds a pretty good story for copper if we're going to continue to maintain low rates for a long period of time home buying should continue going on home building should continue going on and that bodes well for copper you might want to take a look at FCX nice little pop-up here here. Um, get some resistance targets above, but we're holding up quite well. Just keep a close eye on that. FCX might be one that um, would be of interest to you. Take a look at KHC. Now, KHC, defensive sector company, nice dividend payer, um, nice dividend yield on this chart, as you can see. And um, holding up in here quite well and I'm watching KHC as it kind of battles around in this little resistance area for that next potential move out. Certainly packaged foods have been picking up um, during coronavirus and really has turned around KHC breaking through this resistance. So it's something to keep an eye on. There may be an opportunity to the upside here on that chart. I think it's also worth noting and I want to make mention that um, I actually own this trade so I may be a bit biased on it but uh, Disney holding up quite well yesterday pushing on higher and this morning it's looking let's see 
Looks like it's going to open about where it closed, but we're moving up nicely and I'm gonna pull this line down and show you that little trend that we have here in the chart. We've broken the downtrend. It's one of the things that I always look for in a chart. Break the downtrend, hold that downtrend as support, and we're seeing those buyers come in. I would look for some resistance to come in here around 140, but right now, um, Disney looking pretty good if we can continue that bullish move in the market. Disney might be something to pay attention to. You might also want to keep a close eye on the shippers. Um, obviously, um, lots and lots of people have um, embraced buying online during coronavirus and uh, the shippers are doing quite well. What's interesting is in this big move that we've seen here in UPS, just notice that there really are no sellers. Um, no one wants to turn loose of this even after this big run. So a little bit of rest consolidation in here definitely sets up that opportunity for more upside in UPS. And I would also say the same um, here in FDX. We'll want to keep an eye on that as it continues to just grind higher here. Um, in the market and a market that is obviously buying an awful lot of product online last but not least um, keep an eye on some stocks like stz stz showing a nice little comeback here breaking this downtrend this is a defensive sector um, you know we're not going to stop buying our distilled beverages um, and you see holding um, up quite well now I'm interested in this when it breaks through this resistance if that can break through there and hold it as support then I'm gonna be much more interested in STZ something to keep an eye on watch for looking pretty good overall so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and probably more importantly a wonderful weekend y'all be careful be safe coronavirus is still out there stirring things up causing all kinds of problems um, everywhere so be careful be safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have a great weekend everyone